GZ Army, what's going on here? Bringing you a Pokemon X and Y battle, this time against Abdallah Fan. Undoubtedly named after Abdallah Smash 026, just a contributor to him. And look at what he's bringing in. <laughs> he's got um, Lucario, he's got Shednin Shedinja, Jolteon, Gudra, Honchkrow, and of course, Kyogre. I'm kind of thinking, like, why are we bringing in Kyogre? Oh well. <laughs> I've got my Gudra, Scolipede, my, um, what is it, my Conkledor, Florges, Tyranitar, and Espeon. A little different team this time, but you know what? we got to try something different now and then. We don't want to stick with the same thing all the time, right? So here we go with this battle. I'm thinking at first, please don't leave with that Kyogre, because if he gets that rain up and he starts water spawning, I could be in trouble. I'm going to go ahead and send in my Gudra just in case to start off, and sure enough, here comes Kyogre, the overpowered blue thingy. He's going to go ahead and get that drizzle off. Um, drizzle with water spout and everything else is going to be super effective and super strong. Luckily for me, I'm scarfed. So I get that thunderbolt off. That's going to weaken this water spout and me being super, super defensive did really, really well. <laughs> Do really well. He sends out Jolteon and yeah. Jolteon comes in. I run thunderbolt on him. He gets that volt absorb. Luckily for me, it wasn't like motor drive, because then I'd be in big trouble. So switch out my Gudra, and I go ahead and send an Amethyst. So now we have the Battle of the Evolutions here. Here comes a Thunder with the rain. It's going to be 100% accurate. It's going to hurt me quite a bit. The Citrus Berry is going to help me just a little bit. But right now, I'm hurting. I've got to figure out what am I going to do about this guy. He's obviously faster. Here comes a Thunderbolt. I say that, obviously faster. However, I was thinking, you know what? I can get a Calm Mind. And maybe I can baton pass it. Just maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. Because now I can take an attack from this guy. Here comes a Thunderbolt. Can I take the attack? Can I? Can I? No. <laughs> and if he really wanted to, if you think about it, he could have just ran Thunder on me because of that rain. Now the rain stops, fortunately, for me. I go ahead and send in Skullipede. So I have a little bit of a chance if he runs Thunder for him to mess. I'm going to go ahead and get a Protect up so I can get the Speed Boost. I need that Speed Boost. Here comes that Thunder now. It messes, or it doesn't hit me because I'm protected. And I get that Speed Boost. He's going to go ahead and withdraw Espeon at this point, realizing that I'm just going to do that. And he figures, since I'm going to buff, I'm going to go ahead and send in my guy to buff. He sends in Ninjas. I get this Mega Horn damage. It takes him down to a quarter health. Um, however, I'm hurt by Rocky Helmet. I'm like, what? My Sash! No! <laughs> well, I'm gonna Mega Horn you. What the? I missed. What? And then he double teamed. What are you doing? We're not allowed to do evasive moves. Ugh. At this point, I want to, like, head slap myself and just, like, run away. Like, what are you doing? Follow the rules. But you know what? That's okay. If I miss like crazy, I miss like crazy. Here we go. He's getting another double team. At this point, I'm gonna miss everything, right? At least I'm getting a speed boost, right? Yeah, yeah. Speed boosts are good. Wait a minute, he's getting it too? No! Get that Mega Horn. Nope, womp womp. Here comes another double team. At this point, it's like, oh my goodness. What's going to happen next? I go ahead and get the speed boost. He's getting a speed boost. I cannot hit him with a hoot. Here comes a Mega Horn. Oh my gosh, it hits! It actually hit! And I take out Ninjask, even though he's got Rocky Helmet. I don't care. I took out the evasive thingamabob. Whatever you want to call it. The bug. <laughs> and I get another speed boost. So all that is wasted. And he sends out Corbos, who is his um, Hunchcrow. I'm going to go ahead and run Protect, thinking he may run Sucker Punch. But instead he runs Dark Pulse. So I'm going to go ahead and Baton Pass. Get out of there. Because I don't want to deal with this Flying type. Because, um, yeah, it'll hurt me very badly. So I go ahead and send in T-Tar, thinking, well, I can take flying types, and I can take dark types, and I can set up the sand. So sand goes up. He's going to run dark pulse. I'm going to be able to take that really well, super well. Um, and um, yeah, he's going to get buffeted by that sandstorm. Now I'm going to take this opportunity. Well, he's going to take this opportunity to go ahead and withdraw and send in Gudra, his personal dragon. I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and mega evolve. I forget, you can switch before Mega Evolve. So, I go ahead and Mega Evolve to Mega Tyranitar, 
and I'm gonna go ahead and try to take advantage of this and use Dragon Dance, because I figured he didn't want to stay in for this. So, here comes the Dragon Dance. My attack raises, my speed won't go higher because I just baton passed to myself. So now I am good to go to wreck havoc. Here comes an EQ on this Gudra. Gudra is not able to take it. He goes down. That nice purple sluggy thingy. And next comes Kyogre. Kyogre, obviously, I don't want to take an attack from. And he also sets the rain, but is he faster than me? I don't think so. Um, he's smart enough to um, switch out at this point and sends in Corbos. Now, Corbos is, of course, his Honchkrow. He's figuring maybe he can take an, a, an attack, possibly a crunch. He is able to take an attack, but I'm going to just go ahead and run another Dragon Dance. Might as well. If he wants to run Sucker Punch, that's fine with me. I'm just going to buff up. And he runs Nightshade. Now, Nightshade is going to hurt a little bit. Surprisingly hurt a lot more than I thought it would. I'm going to go ahead and crunch this guy. I figured 100% accurate attack. Might as well go for it rather than go for... Um, rock um, stone edge because it may mess and it may mess me up don't want that send out Kyogre again knowing that I'm gonna be faster here comes a crunch from plus two now Tyranitar and that is going to be the end of Kyogre so at this point not much left we can do Goku comes out that's Super Saiyan Lucario and he's gonna go ahead and mega evolve to mega Lucario or Super Saiyan form. I don't know what you want to call it. Anyways, Goku Mega evolves, but he's not faster than me. Don't you know I am Perfect Cell? Or Poo? Whatever you want to call me. I don't know. He's out. That's all that matters. Goku has failed. The Earth is doomed. The rain stops. <laughs> Anyways, that happened. And Jolteon comes out next. Jolteon's gonna not like this earthquake, and that's gonna be this battle. Wow. What a battle. <laughs> Not exactly how we expected it to go, but you know what? That happened. So we get the win over a Dala fan. Once again, um, a big fan of Dala Smash 026. Check his channel out. But yeah, a Dala fan was a very good sport about this. We had a good time with it. I actually haven't seen him in our live streams in a bit, but yeah. If you're around, man, you should definitely come back. Be good to see you again. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Right down low, hit that like button for me. It shows me that y'all appreciate what I'm doing and that y'all actually want to see more videos. I know I want to give you more videos, um, but I, want to, I would like confirmation from y'all. You can also check out some of my other videos here on my channel. We have links here to Pokemon Battles, Pokemon Livestream videos, and to my Titanfall playlist. To keep up with all my uploads and show your support, please share this video and subscribe to Mr. AGZ to join in on the GZ Army. Um, the more shares, guys, the more views I'll get, and I'll greatly appreciate it. Let's have a like goal for this, for 50, and let's try to go for 100 views in one day. That would be amazing. At least 100 views on this video. Um, yeah, guys. <laughs> we live stream Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays if you're new to watching. And on Wednesdays, we have no rules Wednesdays. So bring whatever you want. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you share the same items. I don't care if you want to make them all Mewtwo's for all I care. Just make it happen. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, catch them all.